I've seen we never saw it on this fashion how do we see what we have never seen by faith how do we observe what had never been done in our body in our soul in our mind by faith he saw their faith and because the faith was put into action something happened that we never saw in this fashion before get ready what you have never seen you will now see what you have never known you will now know that the man look at him on the outside made whole look at him on the inside made whole look at his faith with the joy of a received miracle and look at him bubbling with joy and look at him and look at the spring on his feet as he goes back home powerlessness gone helplessness gone hopelessness gone hope has come help has come healing has come salvation has come and we're talking about the jesus who did that the same yesterday and today and forever your time has now come i said your time has now come number one the time of your salvation number two the time of your healing let's start with number one it's about and eyes closed it's about and eyes closed it wants to say to you son thy sins be forgiven thee daughter thy sins be forgiven thee he wants to blot out he wants to cleanse away all the sins you ever committed in your life all the years of your life and all the things you ever did against god in heaven against man on earth he wants to give you forgiveness now and if you want that forgiveness and i know you do you have desire you have decision you have determination you have desperation if you want that forgiveness now anywhere you are raise up your hand forgiveness is coming and with that forgiveness he gives freedom 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 from sin from satan in your nature he gives that freedom anywhere you are lord i'm asking for forgiveness i'm asking for salvation i'm asking for freedom from all my sins here i am raise up that hand raise up that hand if you're raising up your hand you stand up you say i am the man i am the woman i am the boy i am the girl i want salvation i want forgiveness that's right that's right rise up there rise up there the lord is waiting for you that you'll have that forgiveness now because that's what gets your name into heaven because that's what makes christ to rejoice over you that his death at calvary on the cross of calvary was not in vain on your behalf raise up your hands and rise up while you rise up say jesus i come to you i confess my sins to you i want you to forgive me all the sins i ever committed i want you to take away my guilt and my condemnation i want you to give me the freedom the deliverance from all those sins that bound my life i believe you will not reject me thank you lord i believe i am forgiven and it's a change in my heart in my life now i pray your grace will continue with me to live a forgiven life a life that is set free thank you lord i'm praying for you now father 
in the mighty name of Jesus I pray for all those who have given surrendered their lives unto you and I pray according to your mercy according to your promise which will never fail forgive them in Jesus name set them free let there be a change a transformation in every heart and every life thank you lord in jesus name we pray god bless you the lord has done it amen my problems will be rolled away my sickness will be rolled away say it for yourself okay say it so we can hear and remember and remember the man put his faith into action and he put his faith into expression because Faith without action is dead. And dead faith don't move anything like dead men don't move anything. It's when we put the faith into action. The man did what he couldn't do before. He arose, he took up his bed, and he walked, and he went forth before them all. And as we pray, when you hear the name of Jesus, and you hear the final amen, and that final amen, you put your faith into expression, your faith into action, and you do what you were not able to do before, you have a testimony tonight in Jesus' name. Now, identify the problem you have online, social media, television, over the radio, anywhere you are, any part of the world, and here in Lusaka, the Alpha location, identify the problem in the head, in the body, and you couldn't walk, maybe the legs or the eyes, identify the problem and lay your hand where the problem is, where the sickness is, where the paralysis is, where the blind eyes are, and where the tumor is, where the growth is, lay your hand there, and then we're going to pray now at the mention of the name of Jesus that infirmity that sickness that paralysis that blindness that deafness will vanish away and when we hear the final amen the miracle is there already and then you will rise and do what you are not able to do before lay your hand where the problem is and raise up the other hand miracle is coming healing is coming deliverance is coming now father in jesus name yeah. we thank you because we know you're still a mighty god you have promised and your promise will not fail and you have given us jesus our healer our savior our redeemer our deliverer and the miracle worker in every life lord i pray that your mighty power will touch everyone now in jesus name i pray lord any challenge any problem any pain any infirmity from the top of the head to the tip of the toe for everyone here for everyone over there everywhere touch them heal them deliver them now in jesus name that madness that insanity i command you Come out in Jesus' name. I pray for all the swelling in the neck, at the back, in the tummy, and near elephantiasis. I pray the Lord touch you right now. All the swelling, come out in Jesus' name. Incurable long-standing sickness, that cancer be healed now in Jesus' name also be healed now in jesus name and breathing problem asthma be healed in jesus name hypertension 
be healed in Jesus name I pray for bleeding that have been there all these years I pray Lord the Lord touch you now be healed in Jesus name the pile there you are healed in jesus name and lord i pray that any pain in the bone any pain in the head migraine be healed in jesus name and those who could not see it or stand lord i pray you touch them now and that pain and that infirmity i pray lord will vanish away now in jesus name those blind eyes glaucoma cataract whatever i pray the lord will touch your blind eyes and your dim eyesight be healed in jesus name deaf and dumb I command be healed in Jesus name Lord I pray anyone everyone I pray over here over there you manifest your power right now and bring definite miracle of healing and deliverance to everyone thank you Lord I know it is done and we'll see it and we'll rejoice together confirmation in every life manifestation demonstration in every life even now in Jesus name I pray Amen it is done you'll check yourself and what you couldn't do before you will begin to do and when you see the miracle right there you live where you are and you come as a national overseer will direct you we have testimony from you coming tonight in jesus name 